Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In today's video we are going to be painting on CDs. Yeah. I'm a little bit late to this trend, I'm not gonna lie, just just a touch. You know, it's been going around TikTok and YouTube a little bit and um, I'm finally gonna do it myself. The reason being, excuse the chickens, they've been really noisy. So the reason that I wanted to do the CDs is because I was having a sort out. I've been sorting out my cupboards and rummaging through stuff to get rid of a load of stuff that has been there forever and a day. And that includes a uh, big load of CDs. And I realised these are completely pointless now because me and my husband both don't have disk drives on our MacBooks. I can't believe CDs are out of date. Like, it makes me feel so old. I'm so old. These are CDs. Now, for some of you, you've probably not seen a CD before because you're all so young. I've got these ones and they've got the gorgeous holographic back and a lovely pearlescent white front. Okay, so idea one is, I forgot. I forgot already, where's my phone? Now I'm going to use Posca paint markers for this because uh, I thought that would give me some really cool detail work and um, yeah this one I actually wanted to draw a good old boom box like 80s style boom box uh, so first I just needed to trace out exactly you know where the edges were going to be because I need to sand down this CD so it will adhere. Now this is the painful bit. I'm so sorry to, to everyone that finds this painful. <laughs> I found it really painful too. Uh, yeah, sanding down a CD. Not fun. And then I went in with my gesso. So this gesso was just going to give me a nice little background for my boom box. And then I can go in with my Posca paint markers. So I've got Poscas. My husband bought me Posca pens and I love him for it. I've got thin ones and thick ones and the thick ones are like pastel colours. How exciting is that? So first I went in with my black Posca paint marker and this just gave a really cool cartoony look. I was really pleased that I did this and then I filled it all in with the different colours and yeah, created this awesome looking boom box. And now I'm going to go in with my Liquitex acrylic medium gloss varnish stuff. This is new um, and I really like it. I heard that cassette tapes are now fashionable. I can't believe cassette tapes <laughs> like retro. Oh, it made me laugh. My first ever cassette tape was Mr. Blobby. <laughs> <laughs> Great music, really is. <laughs> I've been looking on TikTok, apparently you can make CDs clear by scratching this and then whipping off it, the, the stuff with some tape. Um, so I'm going to try doing some clear stuff, but I don't want to take it completely all off. I want to just do like sections of it to make it look a bit like arty and interesting uh, and I'm also going to use that holographicness to make it really pop because I mean who doesn't love hollow so here is the next CD first up I'm going to uh, talk properly let's try again first I'm going to get my standing knife and I'm just going to do little scratches here and there and the idea for this one um, is to do like a vintage style map so I'm going to pull the tape off to create these like little islands and these different countries um, so the hollow graphic will be the sea and the clear bits will be the bits of land so I thought that would be really cool when I finish it up I'm even going to try doing a bit of watercolour because I can. Now I've got my watercolour ground, which is so exciting. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a bit of watercolour, uh, doing a bit of vintage stuff, incorporate the holographicness, and yeah, create some really different, unusual pieces. So I'm going to put this over the CD, and this turns it into a watercolour paper, which means I can go in with my watercolour paint, and I'm so excited uh, because 
I, I can even do watercolour on CDs. Like, this is just epic. So now I'm going in with the gloss. No! Oh, ruined it. So that's right, I had to do it all over again. Okay, so then I left it for over 24 hours uh, and then reapplied the gloss, hoping that this would work. Uh, at first I thought it was going to be okay, but then I added a bit more and I was smudging. So basically I let that dry, I tidied it up and I didn't gloss this. Um, it's unfortunate because I wanted it glossy, but uh, it's just one of those things. Unfortunately, the gloss doesn't seem to work over watercolour. Okay, so this design, I wanted to do a cassette tape. Um, I thought it looked quite cool and I'm going to use the, the circle in the cassette tape to be the circle of the CD and I have some music notes. Yes. So I wanted to try out the different finishes again to see, you know, what the issue was. So I tried the Angelus leather paint gloss and straight away that smudged. Right, so it's the watercolour that's the issue. So then I went in with some Mod Podge, which seemed a little bit better, but towards the end, when I added a bit more, again, the watercolour ended up on the brush. So basically, I mean, all of these are water soluble. So it makes sense really because the watercolour is water soluble as well. So I think that was my issue. Um, so if anyone's got any tips on what finishes you can use over watercolour, that would be really good to know. Um, so in the end, I ended up getting all the watercolour off, going over it with Posca paint pens, uh, tidied it all up and just left them unglossy which is really unfortunate it makes me very sad because i did want that glossy look like a cd um but they still look good i'm still pleased with the outcome i think my designs turned out great um but yeah i'd definitely like to do a part two of this uh try it out again and see if i can get a good gloss on them as well if like me you like getting creative uh not just art not just crafts but even if it's DIY or baking or gardening, whatever you're into that allows you to get creative, then feel free to come and join my uh, Facebook group. It's called Cassie's Creativity Club. And basically we just share our artwork. We encourage each other, inspire each other. I absolutely love sharing your creations. And this week I wanted to give a massive shout out to Rebecca. She has made her own jewelry and it's incredible. I'm so impressed. Uh, I genuinely, genuinely would buy something like this. I think it's a gorgeous design. And random comment of the week is from Tala Anea. And they said, amazing. So thank you so much for that lovely comment. Uh, they actually commented on a Wreck This Journal episode four. That was a really good one. I really enjoyed that. So do go check it on out.
If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you all next week. Bye.